learned that the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, has told the FDA Commissioner, Stephen Hahn, that he must authorize the country's first coronavirus vaccine by the end of the day or else resign. That threat comes hours after President Trump tweeted that the FDA is, and I quote, a big old slow turtle in its handling of vaccines and called on Han to, quote, stop playing games and start saving lives. Caitlin Collins is at the White House. Uh, Josh Dossi is also reporting this out uh, from the Washington Post. But, Caitlin, I do want to begin with you because you just heard from the FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn. Um, what did he say about this? Well, notably, he's denying how this conversation is being characterized, Brooke. He says in a statement, this is an untrue representation of the phone call with the chief of staff. The FDA was encouraged to continue working expeditiously on Pfizer's EUA request. FDA is committed to issuing this authorization quickly, as we noted in our statement this morning. But, Brooke, after the Washington Post f first reported this, we now have multiple people confirming that this is how this phone call went between the chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and the FDA commissioner this morning, where basically Meadows told Han that if they did not have this emergency use authorization granted by the end of day today, that he needed to be prepared to resign from his job as the FDA commissioner, a job that he has only held for about a year now. And so what the end of the day is in the White House's eyes, not clear if that's 530 or later this evening, or if they are not going to actually follow through with this threat at all. But it does speak to the level of tension that has been building between the White House and the FDA for the last several weeks now, where there were those two meetings that Mark Meadows had with Stephen Hahn in his office here at the White House two days in a row, now culminating with this phone call today that really speaks to the president's frustration that this emergency use has not been granted yet by the FDA. Josh, you broke the story. What did you hear? What we heard is that the president remains very frustrated, Brooke, that this is, the vaccine has not been expedited as fast as he wanted it, that Great Britain uh, obviously had theirs first, which riled the president to no end. And the president's been putting on extreme pressure on his closest advisors to get the vaccine out the door and approved. And what we were told was this morning, uh, the, Mark Meadows made uh, that call to uh, FDA Commissioner Hahn in conjunction with the president's tweet. Uh, we attacked the FDA, and there was a desire, uh, a fervent desire, I guess you would say, to have this done today or else.